hello my dear students so this is a video that i am making for uh, students in chandigarh university uh, who uh, uh, who need to uh, complete the unit third of disruptive technology to course so uh, in that uh, uh, in unit 3 we are going to discuss uh, uh, robotics you know, how to design a, a robot using uh, copelia sim and this is the education version of the uh, software this is an open source software and we are going to learn about how to uh, simulate uh, uh, robots uh, using that uh, software so here i am going to play uh, one uh, uh, one model that i have already simulated so in this uh, you can find one robot here which is rotating in uh, in in a in a path and uh, there is a vision sensor attached to its uh, front uh, uh, we can say nose and it will be able to uh, just see all these cylindrical path uh, cylindrical hurdles okay so uh, this uh, thing uh, we are going to design uh, in this course so let us start so first of all uh, you should you need to download the software so you just uh, uh, let us uh, okay so just uh, type copelia sim and just uh, go on to the website go to downloads and you can download uh, the free version of this uh, uh, software uh, the education version so you can download it from here and just install on windows 10 based uh, operating system so i have uh, uh, done that and uh, uh, when you do that then just a minute okay i will again share the page i will share the full screen so this uh, icon will uh, appear on your uh, on your desktop so just click it and software interface will be open like this so what you need to do you need to first of all add uh, object uh, we can add some shapes primitive shapes so you can add uh, so many options are there uh, so we will go for a sphere and let us uh, say that uh, uh, it is 0 0.2 meters uh, the radius is 0 0.02 meters so here it is the sphere okay so now we need uh, we can just see here uh, the position of the object is uh, x0 y0 and z uh, 0 0.1 so this is the position of the uh, sphere and uh, this a b g is the angle uh, that uh, uh, that it makes uh, from the x axis y axis and uh, zeta axis z axis so here it is all zero so uh, just uh, uh, as you uh, just create a model we should uh, just uh, go on this uh, icon and just uh, uh, go into this common uh, tab and um, you need to just click on these things model definition the object is to be model uh, it should be collidable, measurable, and detectable. So this thing you need to, uh, these boxes you need to check, and then we can close this. Okay. Uh, now uh, these toolbars are there uh, to just uh, have a good visualization of this uh, sphere. So we can use uh, uh, this uh, position shifting button and this uh, rotation button so this position shifting button may shift this uh, sphere in any direction uh, 
so let us do that so we can just uh, just move it uh, in in z direction by 0 0.02 meters okay 0 0.02 okay and then uh, just uh, uh, tap on this translate selection and you can see the object has been shifted uh, from the uh, from its uh, from the surface just see it has shifted okay so now you can see the uh, the uh, the position of this object is uh, at x0 y0 and z 0 0.12 so now uh, let us just uh, rename uh, this object. So you have to double click on this and then we can write it as to be bubble drop. Okay. Now don't forget to press the enter. So now our object is bubble drop. Now uh, we need to uh, just uh, uh, add a proximity sensor uh, also uh, we can say a vision sensor of this robot this robot should be able to see so we will add one object uh, on the tip of uh, of the uh, this sphere on the front side in the middle at the edge of this sphere no so same method you can do just go to add and add one proximity sensor and this will be a cone type Okay, so now you can see the proximity, uh, the proximity sensor has been added, but on this position X, Y, Z, that is zero, zero, zero. But we need to uh, uh, position it uh, uh, in front of the uh, this sphere. Okay, and you can see the uh, direction of this uh, proximity sensor is zero degree from uh, A is zero, B is zero, and G is zero. So we need to now just... Uh, uh, change the uh, position and orientation of this uh, sensor so the same thing uh, you can do uh, just uh, go on this translation uh, select the proximity sensor and go to the translation and in the translation uh, you can just uh, uh, go on the position and directly give the position of this object so you can uh, just uh, write 0 0.1 here and in Z, uh, it will be 0 0.02, 0 0.12, sorry. Okay. And then uh, just up. Uh, okay. It has been done. So position, you are directly selecting the position. Okay. Now close this window. Now we need to rotate this proximity sensor. So for that, uh, you need to just uh, click on this toolbar, object item rotate and just uh, uh, give some orientation with respect to, uh, to XYZ uh, uh, coordinates. So we will make uh, uh, alpha as to be zero, beta as to be 90 degree and gamma as to be 90 degree as well. Okay, so now uh, it is done. So now you can see that uh, uh, these, uh, these uh, orientation has been shifted. A is zero, B is 19, uh, gamma is zero here. So we should uh, uh, again just shift it and we should have this 90 degree. It should be 90 degree. Okay, fine. Okay, so uh, now uh, uh, we, uh, we can uh, we can just uh, uh, we can just uh, give the range of this proximity sensor so for now it is uh, it can uh, is, is it can see uh, up to 90 degree okay this is uh, in uh, by default it is 90 degree just uh, click on this uh, double click on this icon and go on to this show volume parameter and here you can see the angle is 90 degree here up to 90 degree it has got uh, it can see so uh, just uh, add some values to here uh, just uh, have one offset in meters and then uh, you can define the range up to what it can see 0 0.15 meter 
and then uh, you can select uh, you can decrement the angle as well so that will be 30 degree let us say 30 degree so here uh, you can uh, just see here okay so proximity sensor has been two object has been added to this simulation platform now we need to attach this proximity sensor to the uh, bubble drop so for doing that uh, we need to select this proximity sensor uh we can rename this as well so we can just uh, make it bubble rob uh, let us say sensing sensing nose okay so uh, i forgot to just click the enter so it will be bubble rob uh, space sensing nose okay now we will attach this sensing nose to this uh, bubble rob the robot so we will click uh, click it and again control press control and click the bubble rob so now we can uh, just click the right uh, right click and edit go into edit and make the last selected object as to be parent so last selected object is bubble drop so bubble drop the sensing nose will be added to the bubble drop now we have added the sensing nose uh, or the proximity sensor to the uh, to the robot now we need to add some wheels to this uh, robot so that it can travel uh, for that uh, you just need to uh, uh, go to the file a new scene create a new scene in that uh, we are going to create the wheels so just add, go to add similar steps uh, add a cylinder so in cylinder uh, you need to just uh, define this uh, size so it will on x you can write 0 0.08 then in z uh, you should write 0 0.02 these are just to cre uh, create the size of the wheel. So file wheel size is created. Now we can just shift this. Uh, just uh, we need to define the position. So we can write here 0 0.05. On Y we can write 0 0.1. On Z we can write 0 0.04. So this is how uh, we can just uh, shift this uh, wheel and now uh, we need to just rotate this so we can rotate this uh, by 90 degree so just uh, write minus 90 and uh, click enter and you can see the cylinder has uh, cylinder has been uh, oriented such as to look like a wheel so this is the wheel so now uh, we can just uh, double click and do the same process uh, make it in model collidable measurable and detectable this thing we need to do and then uh, uh, we can uh, just copy this object uh, by uh, as we want the second uh, wheel so we will copy this object by going into edit and copy selected object and just uh, uh, we can uh, paste it in here just by control v so we can have uh, two cylinders so uh, just uh, uh, we can give it a name let us say purple rob uh, this can be right wheel right wheel and uh oh, forgot to click the enter so this or oh, this is always happening okay bubble uh, bubble rob uh right wheel right wheel uh, click the enter and then uh, we can just copy this okay Okay, something is there, it is not copying. 
let us uh, write it manually bubble drop uh, left wing okay let's press enter so now uh, we can shift this uh, uh, cylinder so we need to just shift one of them so let us say the right wheel uh, need to be shifted so we will just give it the position where it should be and uh, we can just uh, make it uh, minus one minus 0 0.1 okay so yes uh, enter click the enter now close it now let us just see does it happen yes we have got two wheels oriented like this so uh, what we can do uh, we can directly copy these two and uh, just we need to paste it in the, our previous scene and our uh, these wheels will appear so we have uh, added our wheels to this uh, robot but uh, uh, they have not been connected just we have brought from one scene copied from one scene to our parent scene and now uh, to make this uh, wheel rotate we need to uh, add a joint here uh, we cannot give rotational property directly to this but joints uh, to the joints we can give uh, movable properties so we need to add here uh, one uh, joint uh, let us say revolute type and uh, we need to uh, just uh, double click on this and make it a model okay close the window then uh, we need to align this uh, revolve joint to our wheels so let us select this and select our left wheel then just go to the position tab and apply to selection it will automatically copy all the criterias all the specification then go to orientation tab again and apply to selection so this will do your job so uh, um, one uh, joint has been it is like shaft like thing that has been uh, connected to uh, the uh, left wheel so now some rotational property can be given to this uh, uh, joint so we will uh, rename it as to be bubble law uh, rob uh, left motor okay press enter just uh, uh, again go uh, uh, double click it the icon and show the dynamic properties go into the dynamic properties and you need to enable it as to work as motor the target velocity is zero here and the newton is 2.5 uh, maximum torque which it can generate is 2.5 newton meter and you need to lock this motor you need to check this box which says lock motor when target velocity is zero so this has to be checked out and then you can close the window okay now uh, we can uh, we have to make this of left motor as to be the parent object so for that what you do uh, first of all click the left wheel then we will uh, click the left motor and go into the edit option and make last selected object as to be parent so now your uh, left wheel is uh, connected to your left motor now they can rotate uh, simultaneously now again you have to do the same uh, and you have to add one more joint uh, for your right motor, uh, right wheel and we will double click this and make it as to be object and then uh, uh, we can uh, just align this uh, with our uh, right wheel okay so do the same step apply to selection or uh, uh, locate uh, position parameters then orientation parameter again you have to apply for the selection okay then uh, uh, just uh, rename this 
so it should be bubble rob write motor now write will be connected to write motor okay and we can give it some uh, uh, dynamic properties make it work as a motor and check uh, this box lock the motor when target velocity is zero so these two things has been done now we can add this uh, right wheel uh, to our right motor make last selected objects to be parent okay now uh, your wheels are ready enabled with a motor now we need to connect everything so just select uh, this right motor left motor and bubble rob and uh, make uh, the bubble rob as to be the parent object now you can see everything is being connected but since the, new, uh, the proximity sensor is connected to bubble rob the right motor which is connected to right wheel is not connect now connected to bubble rob so this is the hierarchy okay so to just check uh, your uh, model you can just uh, click on this play button so now you can see the uh, uh, those motors are working it just uh, toppled okay so 2.5 newton meter force was given and it just toppled so if uh, in your simulation this is happening then you are on the right path and we can uh, uh, now add one one support at the back side of this rotor so that it can rotate it can be stable so at the back of this uh, uh, robot we will add one uh, one support okay so similarly uh, just uh, uh, like uh, we uh, did for wheels you have to create another scene new scene and in this uh, we will add one support uh, so uh, here uh, we will create another sphere so just add one primitive shape sphere the size will be 0 0.005 0 0.005 or 0 0.05 only okay and click ok then rename this as uh, bubble ro bubble rob slider okay you know what to do next uh, you have to double click this make it a model and it should be collidable measurable and detectable okay and then you need to go to the dynamic property of this go to the dynamic property and uh, go to edit material so here you have to go into this edit material and make friction as to be zero wherever you uh, you can see a friction uh, you have to make it zero okay so this will be zero so that it can slide effectively okay uh, here bullet property and here od property as well so this is done friction is zero let us see is there any other place yes static friction make it zero and kinetic friction as well make it zero okay so we are not considering any friction and just uh, Thing is there. Okay. So next thing uh, which you need to do is to add a force sensor to this object. So close this window. Close this window. This is our uh, our sphere. Now we need to add one force sensor 
to this uh, to this slider uh, so that it can sense the force of which is uh, uh, being applied by the robot on to this so uh, just uh, go to add and just uh, add one force sensor okay now force sensor has been uh, added and it is showing at the bottom of this sphere so we need to shift the position of this shift the position to uh, x0 y0 and z 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay now you can see the force sensor is at the top okay so now rename this sensor as to be bubble rob connection okay and we will make this uh, bubble rob connection as to be the parent so first of all select the slider then bubble rob connection and we will make uh, the last or selected object as to be parent okay now we can uh, we can just uh, copy this connection and slider from this screen uh, onto our first uh, scene so copy all no so let's just, just copy this thing copy and add to your scene okay so now we can check that uh, is it done now yes there is one slider there but it is not positioned well so let us just position it well so change the position of the connection then so we can change the position of this connection uh, let us make it uh, x to be minus 0 0.07 so this is minus 0 0.07 uh, it will shift it by a bit let us see uh, is it done yes it is very good it is at the back of this uh, object okay fine so we have made the robot uh, with sensor and we can give some velocity to these wheels and just uh, uh, re uh, um, uh, rerun this simulation so uh, what we need to do just go on to this motor uh, right motor click on this icon show dynamic property and give some velocity to it so let us say one meter per uh, one degree uh, per second this is quite slow i feel like so it should be 360 degrees 360 degree per second okay this would be good one rpm so uh, the same should be given to the second motor as well so we will select the left motor and go into the dynamic property and uh, we will again give this as well 360 uh, degrees per second okay okay so we need to check uh, the right motor as well is it done or not no it was not effective you need to click uh, enter just to fix the velocity okay it is done now so we have given a speed to this motor now we can run this and let us see what happens okay the problem where is the problem so the problem is that we have not made this connection as to be uh, um, connected to this robot so uh, what we need to do uh, select the slider uh, um, so we need to just connect this to bubble rob okay so go to the edit make the last object has to be the parent now the uh, that uh, slider is there uh, connected to the robot now we can see yes it ran so again we can play 
it is running so our robot is able to run now uh, we can add some more parameters like we can impart some mass feature as well to this uh, uh, motor uh, so for doing that uh, you need to just uh, uh, go to the dynamic property of the uh, motor so how we can go uh, just double click on the icon go to the dynamic property and uh, so just go into this common feature just a minute okay something is okay we cannot give uh, inertia property to this wheels i feels like we need to give the inertia property to the to the rob itself and the slider okay to the motor uh, because motor is your joint so to the joint uh, we cannot give we can, uh, the inertia property we can give uh, the motor property to it it can rotate but uh, we cannot give it a mass so you must be uh, uh, you must be understanding what i am saying so we can give uh, the inertia property to the wheels so let us check uh, that so double click on this and uh, so the dynamic properties uh, okay yes there is some so we can give mass effect to this so uh, you need to select one and uh, uh, you do you need to do something uh, mm. so uh, we are on the wheels so we can give some mass to this so you need to click on this m into 2 so mass will be doubled now it is 1.005 kgs so if you want to double it then you can click uh, to double it will be doubled but if you want to just uh, half it then you need to put, uh, just click on this m by 2 so let us increase the mass and you can as well uh, increase the inertia as well so you can use these tabs to increase the inertia of the object and uh, Uh, local responsible mask and global responsible mask uh, so mm, you need to click uh, this uh, uncheck the first four for local responsible marks for the slider uncheck this okay and then uh, so we can close this uh, window we can do the same to our left wheel uh, just uh, uh, you need to uh, have same mass for both wheels otherwise uh, the system will not be so effective it will not be so good okay both wheels mass should be same inertia will also be same for both so we need to uh, uncheck this local responsible mask okay and we will do the same thing for the slider as well so uh, uh, for the slider uh, as well we will do the same it's also having the same property we will Uh, click on this okay so close this window and now uh, we uh, we can give uh, some property to this, this bubble rob the our main object so we have to uh, we have to uncheck uh, the second half because this is uh, second four local 
<laughs> local responsible marks so the main object uh, you are uh, uh, doing uh, you are unchecking the second half and for the other objects you are unchecking the uh, first half okay mass we can also increase inertia we can increase but i am maintaining it same so uh, now let us just check it again uh, how it is going so it is going well fine so uh, this is it uh, this is the first video uh, which i have made uh, for uh, for all of you to follow if you have completed till here then it is good we can proceed and just uh, uh, try to develop a, a robot that can detect uh, uh, some uh, hurdles and just take its own decision to uh, to change its path okay thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, uh, please like and subscribe uh, those are some of the motivations that we have to create some videos for all of you thank you thank you uh, just to follow the next lecture for further pros uh, proceedings in into this uh, course thank you